you gonna take both of them? Would you be willing to sell the three? Uh... No, Brad didn't even really wear them. Home runs only. <laughs> I was gonna get these Danners. Good morning, guys. It is uh, Friday, actually. Doing a little early burden of Saturday garage sales. Um, yeah, come along with me. So I'm just leaving that sale over there. Got this Wii. I did pay 20. It's in great shape. Everything's in there. Cool thing, these are all Wii Motion Plus, two of them. And then an extra game. Got a Zelda in there. Today, especially, people don't really negotiate. Um, they're in it for the long haul, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So don't blame them. Okay, is that 50 cents? Yes. Okay. I thought you were gonna take both of them. Is there another one? Yeah. Let's see it. Two of them the same. <clears throat> Is it <laughs> Veggie Tales too? Yeah. Just turn it on the other side. Alright, fine. <laughs> I get them both. So one dollar? Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. Ah, I didn't see that. Oh well. These are uh, from the 90s. Uh, they're dated 1998. Got their tags. Veggie Tales. And they're like single stitch. Not sure if there's gonna be a huge demand, but had to pick them up. Trying to decide the three of these Western shirts. For five each. Kinda like this one. Would you be willing to sell the three uh, Western shirts for ten dollars? Huh? Would you be willing to sell the three Western shirts for ten dollars? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Not something I really deal with too often. Just don't see this stuff very often, but here's the tag Rock Mount Ranch Wear, and that's the same. This is Scully. You can just tell that there's a, you know, it's not my style, but you can tell there's a lot of work went into all this embroidery on them. So, try these out. Well, thanks again. You're welcome. It's a Mizuno glove. I spent five on it. I think I looked it up wrong. I think this is uh, like a $30 glove. Thought it was worth more, but still good. Oh, the coolest stuff. This cool is really, this car is really sweet. Got a pair of uh, Dan Post boots. They're made in Spain. Another five dollars. Not a crazy pair of boots. So you said the shoes were ten dollars. Uh, I was like the Nikes, these ones. Uh, those are five. They got some purple on them. Yeah, those are five dollars. These ones here. Okay. Those go for five. How much are these? Uh, those are ten. These are ten. Mm -hmm. Those are, you know what? Brand new. No, Brad didn't even really wear them. <laughs> Either do that. Yeah. All right. I, I can't do all that. I'd rather just do a garage sale. I don't have to bother with it. So these two would be 15. Mm -hmm. Would you be open to 12 for the pair? 
No. Just a little tiny he, he discount. Won't go, he won't go any. And those ones for five are already, yeah. I did them the lowest I could here. Okay. Yeah. Sure, I'll do 15 then, I guess. Let me get you a bag, sweetie. Okay. These are the like, Nike Air Max. I guess it's like an Olympic colorway. Nice shape. I just thought they were really cool. They're um, Van Skate Highs, and they're like the Deadpool variant. Kind of fun. They got like bubble gum <laughs> on the bottom of the soles. Pretty sweet. What is that? Snap. Thanks again. Home runs only. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. You too. Just picked these up. Um, these are, I think, going to be pretty good. This one looks to be probably like a hundred dollar bill. Spring Steel TPS Louisville Slugger. And then this is a DeMarini. Can't really find this one. But I'll look a little bit more later. Yeah, 15. It is Saturday. We're continuing the garage sale saga. Um, gone to about like 10 sales and I haven't found anything yet, but just gotta keep going. Thanks again. Take care, have a good day. Yeah, you too. So that was a pretty good sale. Um, I spent 15 there. Just a bunch of small little things, but this is like a uh, John Mellencamp, Cougar Mellencamp 87T. And then just a couple games. I want to play this. Nino Kuni. Uh, this is cool. Acrylic Nike with the signature I don't know just a little small Mickey well, like one single butter knife I don't I don't know <laughs> but I like this it's a little bolo um, shadow box bear paw coral this is alpaca Mexico so it was fold a little bit I was hoping underneath the braid that it was some Native American like signature but Ended up being alpaca mexo, and this is just dumb. I should not have picked that up. This goes to a flatware set. Just leaving there. Got a bat. I've had this one before. It's the D Marini Voodoo Overlord. That was 10. this view in this neighborhood. Check out the hills up over there. It's pretty. There you go. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Whatever else you were going to get. Uh, I was going to get these danners. Yeah, I got more. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Oh my god, oh, I love it. Have a good day, man. Yeah, you too, man. Just leaving there. Got some of these are pretty destroyed. But they were three dollars and they were Danner. So I thought they'd be worthwhile project. And <laughs> I got these kind of for myself. Just some American flag vans. Need a good clean. Danner Acadia. Polished up pretty good. Or much nicer than they were. Pick this guy up for eight dollars. I really like him. Couldn't find him on quick search, but it's a tiki mug. It's by uh, what? Flounder by Tiki Farm, 2011. She said it was limited edition, so this game. This guy's name is Aqua. I guess they had problems with the glazing process, 
making this version a little more uncommon. Mm. Not seeing anything. Rockstar. So this belt here was two dollars as well. I just thought it was really well made. It's a uh, conchos. On the back, it is dated like 1995, and the brand is Justin. So I picked this up for two dollars. I think it's a little silver coin bracelet. It's like three pence. So I thought that was pretty cool, especially like the the clasp. It's like a little box clasp out of two coins. And this is from the 30s. It's coin silver, 50% silver. People are calling it like a like a sweetheart Victorian bracelet. It ain't nobody want to a four. Another pair of shoes, once again, my size, so I might keep those. Then this comic, which has this signed, that was free, so, in three. So this chess set was $5. I thought it was kind of nice. It's not like super detailed, but it's decent. I think this is olive wood. You can see with that like black to brown gradation. All this $49 plus uh, yesterday was $71 today. So that brings us to $120 for the weekend. I have sold that bat. I'll show that. So this didn't take too long. A um, couple of weeks. This is the De Marini Voodoo Overlord. And it sold for $140 plus shipping. 